There's a caveat to today's video that I want to start off with, that this is purely for entertainment purposes only. Air conditioning systems can be really dangerous, and of course you need to be skilled and know what you are doing before you start messing about with them. Dad is a qualified F-gas handler, meaning that he is licensed to use the items in today's uh, video. It's interesting and it's raised a few questions. We were able to go to Holford's and buy this product off the shelf, no questions asked. Do you need to be a professional or an expert to do this work? That is kind of what we're discussing in today's video. One thing I wanted to say before you watch this video is do not try this at home if you do not know what you are doing. You run the risk of not only breaking the law by releasing aircon refrigerants into the atmosphere unknowingly, but also to cause severe damage to your vehicle or somebody else's vehicle. If in doubt, speak to a professional. Enjoy the video. Can we um, do the aircon on the Armstrong Sidley while we're here? Have you ever read the instructions? It calls the heat of the air conditioning. Does it? Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here with this rusty old French barge. It is Dad's Peugeot 406 estate, and it's something that he is keeping on the road. Uh, he's had it nearly from new. Um, the air conditioning is not blowing as cold as it should, and it's the sort of thing that normally we take it to our local garage, they hook it up to the machine, and Tom there says, that's 45 quid, please. However, Tom's really busy at the moment, and so I had an idea, well, why don't we do it ourselves? You can buy DIY aircon refurb kits from places like Holford's, um, and of course, uh, it makes good content for the channel. In this video then, we're gonna try and recon our own air conditioning using a DIY kit from Holford's. How easy is it? What rules and regulations do we have to follow? What safety procedures do we have to follow? And is a DIY do-it-at-home kit easier or cheaper than going to your local garage and having it done? Soon find out. Hello, good morning. How are you, you okay? All right, matey. Um, we're here with your Peugeot 406, as we've heard in the introduction. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day, and it has been for the past sort of couple of weeks. And you've noticed that your aircon is not as cold as it no, as it should not be. Been topped up for ten years. So. We've, we've tried to get to Tom, who uh, is our aircon uh, engineer locally, and he is far too busy, as would everyone else wanting their aircon in the local area doing. So we're going to do it ourselves. Yeah, I was going to do it a bit ago and it turned cold. <laughs> what, the aircon or the, the, weather. Uh, the weather? You've been to Holford's. Yeah. You've bought a air conditioning yes. replen kit. Tell us about that kit. Well, it's this little trigger thing that you can plug on and you've got a bottle of 134A and you can put a bit of gas in, hopefully. Let's go have a look at the kit. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I've got questions about aircon because it's a regulated thing, isn't it? You've got to yeah, be a special... Yeah, I'm surprised they still do this, but it appears when I've been doing some research, the ticket that I've went away for two days to learn to get yep. is the refrigerant handler, and that's basically it's about taking it out of your big cylinder and putting it in your machine. Do you have to have that then to buy this from Halfords, or can I no. go down to Halfords and buy it? This is what surprised me. That so anybody can go and buy this? Yeah. Okay, so you've bought this, which is AC Pro, Professional Formula AC Recharge, fast and easy 10 minute job. You can't use it on a modern car. No, not it's R134. One, three, four. Four. Can you buy that stuff from Halfords or not? What's that? The, the modern stuff. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't looked. No, we didn't look. Uh, ten pound cash back on this. If you take the tin back, it gives you. I think it's five hundred and ten. Don't lose grams. the lid. Oh, no, so much to talk about. Don't lose that. Oh, I've lost it. Yeah. It's gone down there. <laughs> oh no, it's not it's here. Hang on a minute. Now it's gone down there. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. That's something I wanted to talk about. That's a, sorry. That's a problem with the kit. That is. I've caused a problem now. While we're at a convenient moment, I took the top off to have a look at this, and yep. I thought to myself. It's got a little seal thing on there. Yeah. And then it just falls off. I mean, not very good, is it? No. So let's just carry on looking at this. So, so what we did, when we're finished, we've got one here, it'll fit. Oh, so you've modified it? No, I've got one. Made your own? One of my, uh, my kit, my okay. ceiling kit. Well, well that's done. the first thing I found wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? It's not very good, is well it? Well done for over-engineering that. Um, so this is the bottle. R134, £10 cash back, 510 grams. It's got all the instructions on here, how to mm. do it, what to do. How much was that bottle? 
I've got a trade card thing, so it's 50 odd quid, nearly 60 quid. 60 quid yes, for 510 yeah. grams. Yeah. So, okay, that's probably... quite pricey in comparison yeah. to going to your local. Uh... Yeah, everybody's put the prices up though, haven't they? 134A has gone up in price. So, you've also had to buy something else. Yeah. Which is this. I didn't buy the super duper digital one that gives you instructions. I bought the uh, analog one. So this is the R134A auto aircon reusable trigger and gauge. How much was that? 17 quid. Okay, so so far we've spent, what, 70 quid? More than that. I, think. I ain't got my receipt on me. Well, it'd go cheaper to go to Tom. Well, I don't think people are now. Mm, okay. I haven't rung around because I wouldn't want to ever go at this. Yeah, okay. Well, this is content as well, isn't it, for the <laughs> channel? So you've bought this and you've bought that. Now yes. what do we do? Well, according to the instructions, you put this on. Well, you're supposed to be doing this. You put this on and check the pressures. You've got a little chart here. Okay. So zero, that means that you mean you've got a needle. None. Up. Right, so... Now you've got no gas, do not attempt to add refrigerant. That's avoiding you just wasting gas into the atmosphere, yeah. which is bad for the old hose. I suppose that's there. because if you've got no gas, there's a leak in the yeah. system. Yeah. System is low on refrigerant, add refrigerant. Yeah. Mine, when I put it on, it says alert. It says no additional refrigerant required. Now, I don't think that's right somewhere, so we'll see. Okay. But what I've done, I've weighed it, and we've got one, two, three, nine, three grams. So we'll see what we, how much we actually put in. Right. But okay. what we'll do is, son, we'll put the thermometer on it. We'll talk about safety. Yep. Yeah. Let's talk about safety. Eye protection. Then. Eye protection. We need that. Yep. Fluoroelastomer gloves. What's that for? It's to stop in because the main problem with this stuff is if you get a release of gas, you can freeze your fingers. Okay. Yep. So, but ordinary um, nitrols or latexes aren't any good for the job. You want something a bit thicker. Thicker rubber gloves. Thicker rubber gloves. These are proper aircon ones, these are. Yeah. It's called fluoroelastomer. Fluoroelastomers. Yeah. Yep. I believe if you latex ones, it can freeze your latex ones to your fingers. Ah, uh, you don't want that. No, but I have never, ever frozen my fingers. Yeah. But just in but case. you can, if you get a massive escape of gas yep. by a problem. Because it's pressurised. It's a what if, isn't it? It's a yep. what if. Yeah, yeah it's, it's better to be have safe. long sleeves as well. Better to be safe. Good yeah. stuff. So what if, mate? So if. goggles, gloves, what else do you need? Long sleeves. <laughs> but we'll forget about that because we've got long gloves. Okay. Anything else? No. Good. Well, let's go and do it then. Yeah, let's have a bash. Let's go and have a look. We'll have a look at the components on the car. You can yeah. talk us through where to do it, how to do it, and we shall uh, see, how we get see on. what we need. Before we do that, can we measure the temperature of the uh, aircon in the car? Yes, good. Okay. Let's do that. So we've got the kit out here. Yeah. We've got it outside. Let's test. See what she's doing. The current uh, temperature yeah. of the car. Well, the what you need to do is first, though, you need to know what it's like outside. Twenty-seven point two. So what are you doing there? Well, that's somewhere where it's going in. So that's the, where the air is going into the car. Yeah. Into the air conditioning yeah. system. Okay. It can be ambient, won't it? Ambient temperature, 25.9. Put it 26, it's just gone to 26. Okay. So now you've inserted that into the fan. Should we shut the doors? No, just want to see what it's coming out. Is it cutting in? So Tom, when he did my Audi, said their acceptable threshold is six degrees. Six degrees cooler than ambient. No, no, six degrees. Yeah, they never cool to that much these days. Six well, degrees minimum. My Audi A4, not yeah. Audi A4, my Audi TT was six degrees. Yeah, that's a bit old, that's a bit old fashioned technology. Right. And these days, they say it mustn't be too much below ambient, else you can cause people to have health issues. Oh, okay, they're fair because enough. You've got such a shock when you get out. Is it actually cooling at all? Nope. 26. So it's not doing a lot, is it? Right, so it's cooling a bit. We it is cooling a bit. So yeah, you've got 24. And the, and the compressor's running, but it's not... It's not chilly willy, is it? Talk us through it then. So you've got two charging ports. When you're on a big fancy machine, you have them both connected up. Yep, you've got... This just it, goes in it, through the low port and puts a bit in. I was going to say, it's high pressure and low pressure. That's right, yep. mate, yeah. Where are they on this car then? Oh, they're there, look. One, two. Yeah. The low pressure one lives in the big pipe. The big pipe is the low pressure pipe. The small pipe 
is the high pressure pipe. So first things first, we need to see how much is in there mm. because if there's zero, don't do not do it. So it says, Because yeah. it's got a big leak. So how do we check that? Bizarrely enough, there's two sizes of valve. Right. So the bigger one is the eye pressure, which is in the little pipe. Okay. It's easy to find. The big pipe's got the little valve on it. Yep. Fair yeah. enough. And according to the instructions, it says if you've got these readings, don't do it. Okay. But we're going to do it. So you've put that oh, on there. It says warning. Oh yeah. Warning. So we're going to try. So it might be wasting our time. The instructions say. We could be wasting our time then. Could be. Can you overfill these things? You can, yeah. No, it's just as bad then. If you've got too much in, you try and switch thinks it's over pressure and switches it off. Right. So we're going to put just a bit in. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. This is not very scientific. I would describe this as amateurish in the extreme. I think it is too. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we'll follow all the safety instructions, seeing as we've... Let's just see what happens. So you connect that up to the pressure pipe. And then literally just insert some, I'm guessing. It says you've got to shake the bottle. We might be wasting our time. Is it going in? What we're going to do, can you start the engine for me? Yeah. Because that's the vacuum line, it'll suck some in. And I know I can't panic too much because this system holds about 500 grams. And right, that's, okay. That's it. So the car's on. There she goes, look, watch that go down now. You see the instructions tell you not to do this. So that is now moving down because it's being sucked into the car, right? This, this, this side, in the old days with R12, you just put some more in through there yep. and you watch this little bubble sight glass. Okay. Which was a bit amateurish. So it's taking it in. So you know how you've put that on there and it said warning? Yeah. Should you do it with it switched on? The instructions say no. Oh. But you can bet your life that when you was doing them manually, the last bit you had to suck in. It says do this with it. For some reason you're supposed to Keep it shaking. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the temperature. Yeah. So the temperature, as you can see, has already dropped from 24 to 18.5. So the temperature is going down. Is it? Yeah. It's dropped from 24 to 18 and a half, which I think is good. I was checking the pipes. The little pipe gets hot. The big pipe gets cold. Have you put the entire bottle in? No. I can feel it slopping about in the bottle. Can you check the temperature from this on, please? Yeah. 12.1. So the probe is now saying 11.5. It's not far off now. One of these pipes now is stink, stinking hot. Cold. Cold. Excellent. So it's done some good. It has done some good. And yet the system said don't put any in. And it did. So that would probably dis discourage some people. The casual person, yeah. We don't want it too much pressure. That's this thing here. We'll go bang. The trying to switch. No, it detects the fault and switches it off. just cut it out. I'd expect to see condensation starting to form on here. Okay because it's getting cold. Yeah. So how much roughly do you think you've put in now?
I don't know, we'll find out in a minute, shall we? I'm sure you've worked out the system pressures and how much how much grammage the system can take. And it's about 500 on this old Peugeot. Last time I did it, I did it with a proper machine last time. I know my Audi was 500. In the old days, the R12s, they used to run over a kilogram. Wow. But you could get them so they'd got minus figures coming out. Yep. R12 in some, I think in some Arab states and that, they still run R12. Because it's so much flipping hot out there. <laughs> Let's have a look now at the temperature then. It's currently reading 7.5. Better than what we got then, wasn't it? So when I said, Tom said, it need to be six. Yeah. You could do me smart car next. Uh. <laughs> Nissan Note next. Yeah, let's do it. I bet that's not full. Yeah, it's fixed it. Has it? Yeah. It's fixed the problem? Yeah. That's good to know, isn't it? So actually DIY at home, it's achievable. Yeah, but it says don't do it with it running. The instructions do. Safety Ooh. thing. Why is it that you've decided to go stop that's the, the instructions? Way. When you're using a machine, you have the air you, you have it running. You, you suck it all out. Yep. Then you, when you've got a vacuum, you test it. Yep. The vacuum is another thing. Any moisture boils off in a vacuum, yep. so you're removing the moisture out of the system. Yep. I'm not doing that, no. am I? No. You vacuum test it, check for leaks by pulling a vacuum on it and it holds it, and then you get, okay, psh, let it in. Psh. Yep. Often, the last bit never went in. Then you run it and suck the last bit in. Yes. And that's what I'm doing here. So when Tom last did my Audi, we had the car running. Yeah. But not, not at the beginning of the procedure, I should imagine. He did it at the end. Yes. Yeah, just to suck the last bit in. Good. And that's what I've done here, really. It'd be beaten if the system wouldn't work. You're done, aren't you? Yeah. But in the past, I have actually run the compressors up to suck some in. If we'd got some gauges and a bottle of 134A, we could have done the same thing. Yeah, and tested it. We could have just filled it up. So I'm guessing what you'll do now is we'll weigh the bottle and see how much gas we've put in, or refrigerant we've put in. So I'm going to check the temperature again. 6.3 in here. That's how it's put in it. 6.3, feels nice and comfortable in the cabin. Just, let me just get in. That certainly feels much better than it did. Come on in, close the door. Oh, that's better, dude. Come on in. Oh, yeah. 6.1, 6, six degrees. That's on the lowest, isn't it, now? Yeah, on auto. You see, if we put it on research, we could freeze it down, couldn't we? But we're not going to do that. That's, 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 it wasn't, it, that's different to what we started with, isn't it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> that'll do. It's good enough. That'll do me. That'll do. Are you happy with that? What sometimes happens with these things is they freeze up as well. Right. Because they get so cold. No, it's the evaporation of the gases, isn't it? Right. Didn't you did physics at school, did you? I did. Yeah, what happens to a gas when it evaporates? Cools. Cools. That's how air conditioning works. You've got a... Yeah, it goes through a radiator. You've got a liquid gas, yep. goes through the orifice, turns into a gas gas. And that's what causes the cooling in the evaporator. I'm glad you I'm glad you know that. Are you an engineer? <laughs> Trouble is when you get to my age you forget a lot of your stuff. Has that done the trick? It's, hey. It's better than what it was, Gromit, isn't it? What you're saying is. We're not wasting our time. Da, 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 da. <laughs> We're not wasting our time. Excellent. So next port of call... But if you followed them instructions, it might have made you struggle. Yeah. So I've got my safety features on again. Yep. So now, look, though, it so says now, filled. That's what it's reading now. It's saying it's filled. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? You've not filled it right to the top. No, that'll do, won't That'll it? do. It's much cooler. So we're going to reverse the process, take so those it is, it off. It must be 10 years since I've regassed this old girl. Yeah. 
Well, it's lasted all right then. Um, That's the good news. The good news is, now let's find out how much we've used. Yeah. Don't forget to put the cap back on. Yeah, but the one that comes with the kit's no good. No. I'm afraid. Right, so let's weigh it. So the bottle, before we started, we'll one, just take two, on my nine, safety three. apparatus off. Yeah, take your, take your gunk off now. One, zero, four, six. You've not put much in at all. Not really, have A couple I've, of hundred grams. It's made it work though, hasn't it? 247. 247 grams put in. See how it goes. Hey, it's made it better, hasn't it? You don't want me running too much pressure on the old gal. This is an old system. What got you got me, on there? Got my UV specs on. Okay, I so we dye. didn't put any UV dye in this system. No. You've got a UV torch. I'm just wondering if I've probably put some in in the past. Oh, well, we'll soon find out. I don't think I have. Oh. Uh, again, it's probably not really worth it doing it outside. I was going to say, can you? No. Can you see out here? It's too, but, but too just, light. Just to discuss the UV light and why you've got UV specs, some systems, when they're refilled, are put. UV dye is put inside. Yes, mate. Just so... Antifreeze usually used to have it in. If it was leaking, you, you could see the dye leaking yeah, out it the glows. system. It glows. It would show the system leaking. Yeah, it glows but, like... A, but you want to be in the dark, yeah. don't we? But we, we need to be in the dark and we need to have UV dye in the system. There's none in there. But, but just, just to clarify, some systems have UV in the system. We're checking for bodily fluids on the floor. Well, if there's bodily fluids in here, I've got some serious questions to ask. Right. Well, well it worked, but if you'd followed the instructions, it wouldn't have worked, would it? So, the instructions say... Yep, let's read them. Yeah, let's read the instructions and go through it. Find the port and remove the cap. We've yep, done Do that. not start the engine. Always connect and disconnect with the engine off, fair enough. Locate vehicle low side port, we did that. The low side port is located on the larger diameter pipe. Yep, we know that. Attach the gauge and refer to the pressure gauge chart. The chart said... We do not the, fill. Yeah, do not, no additional refrigerant required. Well, it was, wasn't it? But when we run it... It was it low. Went, it went down. Mm. Do you think that us not following those instructions to the letter was dangerous? No. Do you think that we've done the right thing? I think that, there would, you go. that would throw off a few amateurs. Though, I think it? it would. Are you impressed? You see, and it tech tells you to check it with the engine running. Right. S measure. Mm. Start the engine, set AC to max. Allow to run for three minutes and ensure the compressor's clutch is running and the clutch is engaging. Check the gauge reading and refer to the chart below. So that is when it was running? Then it tells you to check it. If it's in the low side, charge system. This instructions is a bit confusing. So you originally read it as not having the engine on, but actually now reading the manual or reading the instructions it's saying have the engine on check no it says check the, this is in the first bit yeah with the engine off yeah yeah check the gauge reading against the chart if it's re zero don't do it because right. it might be empty yeah check the gauge and the pressure if the reading is zero no we've misread look so if it's zero with the engine off, you've lost all you've your lost gas. All you've lost all your gas. Old, you've got a pipe broken yep. or something. Then you measure it, prepare the product. Da, 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 da. And then it does tell you to check it with the air conditioning on max. Okay, fine. So we've done it right then. Yeah. Either which way, it's fixed the problem. I bet we could have got some more in, but it's a reading right, isn't it? Yeah. Where, where was it on the gauge? Top of the green, wasn't it? Was it was nearly at the top of the green, yeah. That'll do then, won't it? And we've tested it with the thermometer. Overall, are you impressed with the kit? Yeah, I am actually. It's fixed the problem, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, that bottle will do some more air cons. Yeah, it will, will do the Nissan Note. It, it will do use half of it, isn't it? I'm not sure if it will do the smart car, actually, because I'm not sure if the smart car is. This is 500 gram bottle. That refrigerator. If I was to empty that Peugeot, as far as I can remember, I'd put 500 in it. Mm. But it's not empty, is it? But for the sake of 60 quid, and Tom not being available. I don't know how much it is to have them done these days. 
Well, last time I had the Audi done, it was 35 quid. But yeah, that but was done at a super duper special mates rates. You see, then I had the Hyundai done, it was 120 pounds. But that's different refrigerant, rate. isn't it? Mm. But this stuff's gone up in price. Because mm. I was talking to the man at my local garage and he says even 134A's gone up in price. Well, for the sake of 60 quid, 70 quid. We probably will get two cars going. Two cars. So oh. actually 35 quid. It's got it working anyway. Good enough for me. It's, Persia, it's got it working. And are you happy? I'm chuffed, actually. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm chuffed. Saved me having to mess about. What are your thoughts then? What's your final thoughts from the video? It works, doesn't it? Does, does the job. If your system's knackered, you've had it, it's, not, it's, it's a waste of money, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's the takeaway. If you plug your gauge in and it says zero, yeah. don't, don't bother. Because you, you're just... You're, just a, waste, you're chucking your money away. You're chucking it? your money away and you're releasing... Uh, unnecessary refrigerant into the atmosphere. the atmosphere. Yeah. And your grandchildren be saying, what was the ozone layer? Can't remember. How did you do the ozone layer in dad? <laughs> <laughs> Granddad? By, by releasing these. Yeah. But um, if it has is showing pressure and it is okay, pop that in. Yeah. Away well, the aircon was working, son, because the compressor was cutting in. Yeah. But it just wasn't cooling on a hot cool. day like this. No. But it is near. There you are. DIY, if we can do Ooh. it, I could have done that. I could have done that. I was going to let you do it. Yeah, well, you did it, but, yeah. you know, I could have done that. 70 quid, enough to do two cars. I'm impressed by that, yeah, actually. Read the instructions, if you, they're a bit, they're a little bit confusing, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit, bit, um, bit of an old waffler. So. <laughs> Good. Yeah. If you've enjoyed the video of Dad and I DIY uh, doing the air conditioning unit, let us know in the comments down below. Um, maybe you're going to give it a go. Maybe you've tried this system yourself. Yeah, or I bet maybe... lots of people have, because I think they sell several of these at Alford's. Yeah, or maybe you go and see your local Tom and get it done at your garage. Let us know. Maybe we've inspired you. Uh, maybe you've had some problems. Let us know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. Thumbs up from Dad yeah. for the air conditioning yeah. system. Uh, let us know. Over 10,000 subscribers now. Thank you very much to everyone that's subscribed. Oh, by the way, the video of you uh, not inserting the little endoscope, boroscope thing has had over 40,000 views now. So um, it's good to show little's a popular thing then. Good to, yeah, good to show. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe if you... Uh, you could, get a, you could get a brand deal with Lidl. Uh, I've heard they've actually given you the key to the staff laboratories in our no, local. Well, I've got, I've, got a, I've got a special key now. So <laughs> if it says, we've got a little a whittle problem, <laughs> yeah, a wee <laughs> problem, it's a wee problem, they, it says. They just escort I, you I through. went in Asda last night. Guess what was short? Uh, the pharmacy. No. The toilets. Yes. Oh, no. Good job I was in Oreo. I just went to check. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. Until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Look at that. Awesome. Thumbs up. <laughs> There you have it then. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to recap. Do not try this at home if you do not know what you are doing. My dad is licensed to handle these products. Hulfords have given this to us or sold this to us as a DIYer, but if you do not know what you are doing, then speak to a professional. We tested the system before we filmed this and we knew that there was no leak. There was a relevant attrition in regards to the aircon um, gas that had released from the system over the past 10 years. We knew that there was not a massive leak or indeed a leak and that it only needed topping up. Should your system not hold any gas, there will be more of a problem than it just needing topping up. And doing that willy nilly is irresponsible and against the law. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.